Welcome to Sir Wins Accounting Lectures. Today, magkakaroon tayo ng pen and paper video problem solving patungkol sa passive income of individuals, final withholding taxes. Actually, nasa description ng video lecture na ito yung mismong problem under discussion. Kung gusto mong sagutan ng solo at balikan ang lecture na ito kapag tapos ka na, mas mabuti. Kasi ang accounting ay natututunan not by mere listening but actually by you doing the problem solving. Pero kung may sagot ka na nga, simulan na natin. So again, passive income of individuals, final withholding taxes. Here is our problem. Compute the final tax of the following passive income of a resident citizen individual unless stated that it is not the case. Show your computation if any. So basically, haalamin lang natin yung final tax na yung problem na to simple lang talaga yung solution. Ang kailangan lang malaman natin dito is yung rate, yung tax rate. Dapat tanda mo, dapat memorya mo. Dahil kung sakaling gusto mong masagutan ng mabilis, di ba? So, ang computation ng final tax ay napakasimple. The rate will be multiplied by the base. Okay? So, gawin na lang po natin para makita natin na sobrang simple lamang na itong ating ano, problem na to. Interest income from bank deposit, 80,000. So, the base is 80,000. Tatanungin mo ngayon, taxable ba siya? The answer is yes. Passive income, di ba? Interest income from bank deposit. Huwag po tayong malilito, di ba? Ang kasunod na tanong, ano yung tax rate ng interest income? Answer, 20% Kasi siya yung resident citizen, di ba? So therefore, the final tax would be what? 80,000 times 20% So 16,000 May sagot ka na In actual practice, ganyan lang naman talaga kadali Or simpleng sinosolve ang final tax Ang challenge lang, maalala mo ba yung tax rate? Okay, mag-move on pa tayo dun sa pangalawa Prices in winnings, 35,000 So the base is 35,000 Kasi yan yung kanyang prices, yan yung kanyang winnings Ang tanong, ano yung tax rate? Okay, kung naalala ninyo, 20% din yan yeah? So therefore, 35,000 Times 20% It will be 7,000 And actually, kung wala kang maalala Pag passive income, i-assume mo 20% diba? More or less, tatama ka Okay, so number 3, royalties Yan, 10,000 Ano ang tax base niyan? I mean tax rate The tax rate is also 20% So therefore, 10,000 times 20% So that would be 2,000 So simple lang, di ba? Number 4, ayan Royalties from musical composition by non-resident alien, 9,000 The base is 9,000 Now what is the rate? Yeah, royalty siya Okay, nakapagka musical composition or art related yung royalties mo, it will be 10%. Ngayon, ang tanong, ganun din ba kapag ka ng resident alien? The answer is yes. Okay, naiba lang naman talaga siya ay dun sa ilang bahagi. Okay, pero karamihan ay same-same lang. Okay, mamaya, baka may madadaanan tayong kaunting pagkakaiba. Kung meron mang kailangan nating i-take note dito, kapag ka ng resident alien, may dalawang klase kayo sa iyon eh. May dalawang klase yun. Engage and trade, tsaka yung not engage. Okay, ngayon, anong assumption dito? Engage and trade. Mag-aano ba naman sila sa Pilipinas? Anong gagawin nila dito kung hindi sila magninegosyo? Kaya kapag ka silent, it is engage and trade. Na basically, ang tax rate niyan, 10%. Paano kung sakaling sinabi, not engage in trade or business? The tax rate would be 25%. Actually, it doesn't matter kung anong klaseng income ang meron ang not engaged. Whether that is active or passive, lahat ng tax rate niya 25% lang. Okay, sa pagkakataon ito, okay, sana po maalala kapag ka musical composition, 10% ang royalty rate. I mean, ang tax rate ng royalty na yun. So therefore, 9,000 times 0.10, that is 900. So may sagot na rin tayo. Hindi mahirap ang solution. Ang mahirap ay yung pag-alala kung ano yung rate. Then, dividends from domestic corporation, 25,000. 25,000 yung base. Ngayon, ano yung rate? The answer is 10%. Okay? Kasi kung naalala yung technique natin, is your relative playing with DOTA and strike. It is dividends. Therefore, general rule, 10%. Ganon din yung share in net income. Other things, di ba? unless exemptions, at least kasama sa exemptions, 20%. Kaya itong mga ito, puro 20. Ito lang exemption kasi nga musical composition, di ba? So again, 25,000 times 10%. So we will get 2,500. Ayan. So number 6. Lotto winnings from PCSO. So ang base natin dyan ay 130,000. 
Now, what is the tax rate? O, wala na naman tayo maalala, 20% po yan. Okay? Kung mayroon man na exemption po yan, ay alin. Kung sakaling ang nanalo ay non-resident alien, okay, exempted yan kasi yung dating rule, di ba? Except dati yung winning sa PCSO. Or, ang amount ay 10,000, di ba? Ay nagkataon, 130,000. So, therefore, it is taxable, di ba? 20%, 26,000. Okay? Number 7. Share in net income of a partnership. So, the base is 25,000. The rate there is 10%. So, we will get what? 25,000 times 10%. Napakasimple lang nitong gawin. Paulit-ulit na po. Ang mahirap dito yung rate. Sana maalala ninyo. No? Okay, dapat memorya nyo. Okay, ito po yung ginawa ko nang hindi po tayo nagre-review. Ano? So, sana tama din yung mga sagot natin. So, again, prices in Wawawin. Ayan, 18,000. So, what's the tax rate? 20%. Sadyang memorya ko po yan. Ano? Sadyang memorya natin. Okay, yung mga nasa online class, swerte sila. Kasi pwede nyo tumingin sa libro. Pero kung saan sa classroom to, hindi nyo ito magagawa ng, ng libro lang. Tarang memorya nyo dapat yan. So, 3,600 po. 20%. Ang tax rate ng prices, ang dapat lang tandaan dyan, kung sakaling yung prices ay 10,000, okay, or less, Hindi siya subject sa final withholding tax But rather, subject siya sa section 24A Yung normal or regular tax Number 9 Ayan na Interest income from long-term deposit with the bank With BSP certificate pre-terminated on its 3 and a half years 18,000 So the base still is 18,000 Madali lang naman yung base eh Ngayon ano yung tax rate? So kung naalala ninyo yung discussion dyan diba? Kapag 5 years yung ano, deposit mo Okay, maaaring mawala ng interest, di ba? Pero kung sakaling na pre-terminate, let's say 4 to 5, 3, 3 to 4, something like that, may specific siya na rate. Ngayon, ano, ka, ano nga kapag ka 3 and a half? So, balikan po natin yung technique natin kapag ka 5 years, di ba, or more, yan, it is zero. Kung sakaling 4 to 5, yan, yan na lang natin, di ba? Pero ito at uh, less than 5, di ba? So, it will be what? Okay, uh, 5%. Kasi nga, doon nagsisimula. And then, we have 3 to 4. So that is what? 12 Kasi 3 plus 4 ay 7 plus 5 12% Tapos kapag yung less than 3 years di ba? Less than 3 years It will be 20% Babalik ka naman dun sa original rate na 20% ng interest So nagkataon 3 and a half So therefore Dito siya sa 3 to 4 So 12% yan So 18,000 times 12% di ba? So ganun yun Dapat memorya nyo siya 2,160 Yan yung tax niya So again Kapag ka final tax, 18,000 dapat yung makukuha mo, mamainusan na ganyan ng 2,160. So, makukuha mo yung neto na lang talaga yan. Okay? So, let's, last one, number 10. Interest income from bank deposit under expanded foreign currency deposit system by a resident alien, 34,000. So, the base is 34,000. Now, what is the tax rate kung meron man? Okay? So, dapat lang nating maalala na kapag ka FCD, yes, di ba? Foreign currency deposit system, uh, exempted kapag ka non-resident. Kasi foreign eh. Okay, therefore, wala sila dito. Non-resident yun. Either non-resident citizen or non-resident alien. Sila yung exempt. Pero kung sakali, na kapag ka resident, resident po ito, whether alien or citizen, the tax rate is what? 15%. Kasi nga, di ba? Dati 7.5 kasi nalipad sa langit. Eh, nagkaroon ng train. Hindi nagsakay sa langit. Dinoble. Ano ito magaling yung biyahe? 15% po yan. So again, dapat pamilyar lang kayo sa rate. Ayan. So 34,000 times 0.15. Ayan. So 5,100. Kapag ka nagsagot ka ng form ng final withholding taxes, ano, kung BIR form, ganto lang din naman ang lalabas. Ilalagay mo lang yung information ng nanalo, kung let's say sa, sa loto, sa wawawin, kung sino man yung magbabayad. And then yung computation, napakasimple. Okay? So I believe tapos na po tayo sa discussion patungkol sa uh, passive income or sa final tax. So ganyan lang yung kasimple. Dapat lang tandaan nyo talaga yung rate sa napakaraming klase ng passive income. At saka depende pa rin kung sino yung citizen. I mean yung individual. Kung resident citizen siya, non-resident alien, whatsoever. Dapat alam nyo rin yung kanyang uh, taxation. Okay? Application ng tax niya. So yun lamang at maraming salamat.